Hey, everyone. So first off, um, I am by no means an expert when it comes to the stuff I have worked in motherboard uh, manufacturing and, and chip, um, you know, chiplet plating, removal, replacement, repair, board repair. I've done a lot of stuff, but I'm not an expert when it comes to knowing what literally every single component does. Usually you look at component sheets, you just buy the same component, put it on there when you're doing board repair, case closed. But here's the thing. Uh, when I took apart the switch dock, this, this white switch dock the first time, people said I didn't go far enough to figure out if it was 4K capable. Uh, there is an ARM chip on there, but further research or so, that ARM chip uh, is not intended uh, to be used for any sort of upscaling. It doesn't have a fast enough cl uh, clock speed to do upscaling anyways. Uh, it's just gonna um, kind of like a memory controller that kind of controls everything happening on the chip, but it doesn't really have anything to do with it. If you want to know if this is capable of 4K, uh, you need to actually look at the HDMI connector. And that's what I did. So first off, before we talk about this, the cable is notable because obviously um, this could do 4K, but if they don't pack in a 4K capable cable, it doesn't really matter. Now, with HDMI 1.4, which was the cable being used on the original Switch, which was the same cable being used on the Wii U, uh, that was a 1.4 cable. You can do 4K, with a 1.4 cable. However, the bandwidth will be limited to doing just 30 hertz, or in other words, 30 frames per second. If you want to get 4K 60, 4K 120, etc., you need to go higher than that to a higher speed cable. And yes, a port that has a proper controller. Because see, the HDMI ports themselves are all the same, but the controller behind the port controls if it's capable of doing more than just 1.4 speeds. So this cable, for starters, it comes with is a brand new cable. This is not the cable that the first one came with. And this cable is capable, as confirmed uh, by myself anyways, of doing 4K60. Now, I don't happen to have anything here to test if it goes beyond that to, say, 120 hertz. Uh, I did compare it to an HDMI 2.0 and 2.1 cable that I know for sure that I have. Uh, but it doesn't really tell you much because this, you know, I, I, I'm not going to rip apart the cable to look at the internals. Uh, but for the most part, I'm pretty convinced that this is at least HDMI 2.0 cable. I can tell you right now with this cable, I could play games at 4k 60 FPS with HDR, um, on my TV and on my monitor. Now, again, I don't have <laughs> my good monitor here that runs at higher than 60 and has extra features. Uh, it won't be here for a few weeks. So uh, I'm kind of limited by my screen technology here. Without better screens, I can't really do better testing because I don't have anything above 60 hertz in my house at the moment. But from what I can do, this is a 4K60 cable that can handle HDR, which tells me this is at least, at least an HDMI 2.0 cable, uh, not the HDMI 1.4 the original came with. That's already fascinating. So then I did what people asked me to do. I got down to the chip level here on the actual HDMI port. And that chip is interesting. It looks like it's a completely custom chip, uh, but sort of. It, there is a baseline standard for the chip, and the chip seems to be one that could take a 1.4 and convert to 2.0. Essentially, what I'm saying is this chipset that's behind the HDMI port, yes, can absolutely do 4K 60 FPS. It is at least HDMI 2.0 compliant. Potentially 2.1, but for sure 2.0. So what does this mean for any thought that Switch OLED, this platform right here, could actually output 4K 60, could actually do upscaling? Well, I have some news here. So for starters, there's nothing on this board that can handle AI upscaling. So while my initial findings were obviously done where I said it was possible, I also didn't fully have all of the knowledge available. I think some people watching some of my, my breakdowns um, might not be uh, as tech savvy um, and, and might not have caught some of the mistakes I made, but I said that this was possibly AI upscaling. There is no way to AI upscale with the dock itself, but the dock can output 4K60, unlike the original dock, which can't do it. The original dock has a 1.4 display port and a 1.4 cable. Even if you plug this 2.0 cable into it, you can't get 
a 4K 60 FPS signal. So the big thing here is uh, this would have to be capable of handling upscaling. Let me be clear about this because this has technically been there from day one. The Nintendo Switch uses a Tegra X1. A Tegra X1 is already capable of outputting at 4K and 60 FPS. This isn't news. The Tegra X1's been able to do it this entire time, but the dock didn't enable the output, so it really didn't matter. The Tegra X1 can actually do upscaling, technically, just not DLSS. And upscaling, there's a whole bunch of different upscalers out there. Our TVs automatically upscale, as an example. It just does a really poor job of upscaling. Um, AI upscaling is what you really want. You want that DLSS style upscaling. And our TVs just don't do that, nor does the Tegra X1. So what does this mean? Well, my assumption at this point is Switch OLED will never output 4K60 to your TV. It's just not going to happen. They're using a Tegra X1. It doesn't have... I mean, they could do it with like a media app, like have Netflix and run that at 4K, but they're just not going to. This system is just going to run the same. As far as we're aware, you're just going to get 1080p60 for the lifetime of Switch OLED. But the dock with the 4K60 output could be reused in a future Switch revision that does do DLSS. And that would be handled on the system level, not on the dock level. Now, right now in the firmware, according to Mike Heskin on Twitter, um, everything in here is being tailored to kind of, you know, go towards the LAM port, which I find to be really interesting because the LAM port itself already has its own chip. Um, so I think the way it's configured at the moment is that it needs to be updated in order to do 4K60. I don't think right now it does 4K60 out of the box. I tried plugging other uh, USB-C devices into this uh, to see if I could get a 4K signal out of it. I could not get a 4K signal to come out of it, which tells me that firmware is holding back um, its capability, but the hardware is there. And this could explain why dock update is now part of Switch. Why would you need to update the dock? Oh, because the dock is capable of something the current Switch is not going to use but a future switch would and they want to make sure that these docks are forward compatible with that so in a sense you could say this might be evidence towards the switch pro and that is not the conclusion i thought i'd get out of this so i'm curious what your thoughts are down in the comments below um because again i'm i'm not an expert in this field this is just based on other people who are way more intelligent than me in this field uh, and my base understanding. So yeah, um, this dock might be future-proofed, but not in the way that people hoped, um, and obviously won't have any effect right now with Switch OLED or a normal Switch. All right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojets from the Center Prime, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.